Henry K. Van Rensselaer, his given name Hendrik Killian, was a colonel during the American Revolutionary War when he played a pivotal role in the Battle of Fort Anne. Family Henry was a grandson of Hendrik Van Rensselaer who built Fort Kralo. Henry's father Killian was colonel of the 4th Albany Regiment of Militia. Henry was the father of Representative Killian K. Van Rensselaer and grandfather of Katharina Vischer Van Rensselaer Bonney, author of A Legacy of Historic Leanings Military Experience. Henry Van Rensselaer engaged in a fierce battle near Fort Anne, acting on orders from General Philip Schuyler. He was given at least two objectives. Hold the enemy at Fort Anne in order to facilitate the removal of cannon and armaments at Fort Amsterdam, to a place of safety, and assist Colonel Pierce along with his retreat from the 1777 Battle of Ticonderoga. Colonel John Hill and his British troops pursued the rebels of the Crown from Lake Champlain up Wood Creek to a point northeast of Fort Anne. As planned, Van Rensselaer met Long and his regiment from New Hampshire to assist in their retreat. Their objective was to slow British movement. They assessed a numerical advantage over the British. Meanwhile, what appeared to be an American traitor tricked Colonel Hill into believing there were twice as many as the true amount of rebel troops. This news may have made Hill act more cautiously than he had planned, knowing his reinforcements have not arrived and otherwise not wanting to be spotted in an unprovoked retreat. A series of retreats and advances by the Patriots and the British culminated into a two-sided bombardment. Van Rensselaer led an advance on British troops when he was shot in the thigh through to his knee, shattering his femur. As he lay near the British troops, he could hear little noise. He was confident the British were in retreat as he ordered his troops to attack, attack. Colonel Van Rensselaer is credited for this critical decision in the Battle of Fort Anne July 8, 1777. Not only were the British delayed, but forced into retreat after Van Rensselaer launched a decisive assault, spanning two hours of all-out battle. Nearly all munitions from both Patriots and British alike were exhausted on their opposing forces. The British were so overwhelmed when the battle ended. They were left little choice but to retreat and abandon several of their wounded on the field to be taken prisoner. Neither the Patriots nor the British knew their opponents' supplies were crucially low. The Patriots proceeded to Fort Anne with their prisoners, two injured and two men who gave the ultimate sacrifice for liberty, Sergeant Isaac Davis and E. Enns, Christopher Walcott. Their stay at Fort Town was short. They were looking forward to a 14-mile, 7-hour journey, munitions were nearly depleted, rain was on its way and food was in short supply. As they left they were determined in preventing the British from making use for Tan. It was set ablaze and Van Rensselaer's regiment placed every conceivable obstacle behind in the path by felling trees and rolling boulders into the road to hinder any British advance as the rebels made their way to Fort Edward.